picking up where I left off here? Uh, there's something with Diglett. I don't even remember. What am I doing? I have no accepted jobs. I'm not sure what's going on, but Electrio is shall Diglett was kind of right. Let's check out Mounts. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. Mount Steel is now open. Yes, go to Mount Steel. Here we are, Mount Steel. So Diglett was whisked to its peak. That's right. It's probably Dugtrio. Dugtrio! The peak is the ninth floor. Thank you for helping. Farewell. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's. All right, so during this time that we should be quarantined, I went to cook out and got myself a shake, a wrap, and a sweet tea. And I honestly kind of regret nothing. Which I've already had people like get mad at me, just like, you're not seeing this seriously. It's just like, I know I'm not. I'm also like 28, so I think I'm, I'm okay. And I don't really interact with people at all. I'm kind of a pariah, so it's kind of like, whatever to me. That's just me, personally. Oh, snap. Can you hear your moves, Mudkip? That'd be very helpful. Uh, wait, it's this button. Sorry, I gotta refresh myself on how to play each time I play. Because I'm also not used to playing this on the GameCube controller. I'm used to playing it on the DS, the original game. So always gotta acclimate. Always gotta do the right thing. Always gotta learn. And then relearn. Let's keep her moving. Just calmly run through, just chilling. I need to get in the habit of not having to feel like I have to talk all the time, especially when I have music playing to try and take up that space. Because it's just really supposed to be a chill stream. Just like, I don't know how to chill. At least that's how it seems and how it feels. Which is probably completely and totally accurate. I don't know how to chill. I spend all my time editing stuff now. I'm a kind of a workaholic, and I don't pay off much. Mike, can't move out of way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's the first floor, and already I'm down to 60 hunger. Mike, can't move. You know, this is. Excuse me. And Damn. there we go. Okay, ball toy. I don't care. And I can hit you from here. And I'll hit you again. And keep leveling this move up. Because that's a great feature that they added. Six Sakoon! You're not Galarian. Galarian? Ah, oh, you go, Mudkip. Awesome, you leveled up. Sweet. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Um, yeah. Once a day, give yourself mm -hmm. a present. Don't plan it. I'm all out of that move. I am all out of that move. Let it happen. Like, so it looks like I'll just have to Dragon Rage. I need to reprogram that button, because that's my the one I want to go to. The right bumper. But it's not the right one. Like Christmas. So Dragon Rage is a immediate in front move. Word. Can beat it. Okay. I 
I'm going to have to eat an apple very, very soon. Fun fact, in real life, I can't eat apples. Actually, it's not a fun fact at all. It sucks. I like apples. It's my favorite fruit, and I can't eat them. So my throat starts to close up when I do. Eh, shut up, I know I'm hungry. Even though I, in real life, just went to cookouts. Thank you for finishing that off. Should I try switching over to Mudkip and see how that does for me at some point? Yes, I know I'm hungry. Because Mudkip's hunger doesn't drop while I'm, while I'm leaving. Is that really a smart... The fact that you missed... Mudkip, 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 Mudkip. All right, how do you switch these joints? Is it under tactics meaning? But no, one too far. Isn't there a way to switch? How do you switch? Um... I thought there was literally a way to make someone else the leader. And I have no clue how. That's auto. I'm not looking to go auto. There we go. It's the freaking plus sign. I'll have you run out of hunger now. Wow, uh, word. Uh, word. Okay, what moves we got? Even music been using the mess out of water. Man. Charmander, me, can you chill? Over here having to do all the work myself for forcing Mudkip to be the one to do it. <sighs> Not feeling the off kilterness with this beat. I'm gonna be real. Kinda just found a playlist with a whole bunch of lo-fi. And that's what's playing. Hold on, is the ticker thing that says... No, it says it's offline. Okay, what needs to be used to level up? Mud slap and mud bomb? I'm going with a mud bomb, though. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Lamborghini Mercy. Yo chick, she's so thirsty. I'm in that two seat Lambo with your chick. So I have to go with this. Or a water gun. Oh my gosh. Hit the joint. Because, yes, Levitate actually saves it from all the ground moves. Move. Thank you. Okay, um... What's that? And it killed itself. Okay. I don't know what the take this was supposed to be. 
it literally did nothing. And that's a lot too. Did I just double attack? That was unnecessary. I feel like I should stop wasting time filling out the map and just go to the staircase each time. But this is how I've always done it, because it gets your level up more. And you want to have a high level. I leveled up again! Level 9. Dope. When do I start learning better moves? Actually, I shouldn't say that. I have a good moves. But at the same time, I always want better. Never settle. Eh, I'm not going that way since Charmander wants to block the way. Alright, toolbox. Let's... Throw the gravel rack. Cause I trust myself to throw it, but my computer will throw it for me every time. Don't know why, but it will. Oops, I'm too far. Excuse me? I'm flinched? Uh, nah, catch this rock. I love my little workarounds. Okay, okay, fine. I'll switch back to using Charmander. I need an apple. Right up to 100 again. He's asleep. Wake up. Rossberry. That's running into something else. Come here, big boy. There we go. Honestly, Dragon Rage is the one thing I don't have to worry about. It's gonna tank these guys every time. Every time. A Geo dude? Whoa, homie. Nice. Can't believe I lived through the first mud bomb in a bite. Can't believe I was able to bite it. Doesn't make sense at all. My health, my hunger goes down too quickly. I've come to that conclusion. How about you don't send your attacks in my direction? How about that? All right, now let's finally go here. Money! Really, you stayed back to attack a sparrow? I wouldn't have advised that. Then again, I wouldn't advise a lot of things that computers do in video games. I ate a big apple on this floor when it was already partially explored. 
and my hunger is already down to 34. Your hunger goes away too quickly in this game. I don't think it even went away this fast in past iterations. Not even the original that this is based off of. Big daggum. Yeah, I might not have the availability to just explore around as much as I'd like. Don't get to be as chill as I'd like. Oh, my shadow is green. Push my pockets for too. We'll just do it this way. We'll go around. Oh, hold up. Oh, you just increase your speed. I thought it said something like you drop, like picked up a box or something. I don't know. But yeah, as I was saying, I think we're just gonna try and collect everything on each floor, and then once we do that, then we'll leave instead of exploring the whole entire map. Because this is gonna take a huge toll with hunger. Come on. Come here. And Dragon Rage. Yes, I know you're hungry again already. But you shouldn't be. Pincer. Hello. Oh, gosh. So a few things here. One is let's eat this, because it'll give us like, what, five in our stomach? Two. Wow. That was more pathetic than I thought. And let's do a max ether. To me, of course. Let's get that flame burst up. There we go. Cause I'll need that for when we fight against Cool Beyond the Horizon. Cause even though this is a first playthrough technically, I still know different events happens in this game because I played what this the, the original of this is. This is only a remake. A beautiful, beautiful remake. Sleep seed. Oh my gosh. I gotta eat another apple. Your stomach just ain't satisfied. This ain't the right direction. This is. Ah, I double attack. I was gonna say, where's the stairs here? Just. Uh, yeah, you can do that all you want. I don't care. Ha! <laughs> you flinched while you're biting. That sucks. Okay. On floor number eight. Let's pick up these three items and then head to the top floor. More gravel rack. Head on over. Come on, turn. There you go. Hey, look! The stairs is on the same room as the items. Yo, stop meditating and just... Oh, it's gonna be freaking difficult. Sorry, dude, dude. Nah. Look, MC Diglett's over there! Somehow! Hey, are you all right? We've come to rescue you. I I'm scared. Now, there goes Skarmory. The reason why I needed to refill on my flame burst. You, what do you think you're doing here? We're here to rescue Diglett. Skarmory, don't do this. Release Diglett. Diglett. How dare you? It's their fault. I haven't slept in days because the earthquakes frightened me so. Every night we had them. Those earthquakes are caused by the... Brat's ilk running wild underground. I don't think that's true. Well, it's true there have been many earthquakes lately, but it would take more than Diglett's family running wild below to cause earthquakes. You be quiet. We'll fight to keep. We'll fight if you keep that up. It's no good. Skarmory is too agitated to listen to reason. 
Well, I have to fight it out. Skarmory is an intimidating Pokemon. But it just never did anything, really. Okay. So... I didn't have to use the Max Ether at all? Wow. Can you, like, catch a burn or something? Eating. Hey, 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 don't you be touching her. Mudkip is my partner. And you don't hit my partner. Wait, that was it? Didn't like collapse or nothing? Girl, I can't keep up. I'll flee for now. That was the first time I've seen a Skarmory not look intimidating. Hey there, we chased off Skarmory. It's okay now. Come down over here. I can't. I'm too scared to move. Okay, no problem. We'll come to you. Just wait. And then you realize there's this huge crevice in between the two of you. Sheesh, look at this cliff. I can't see the bottom. MC, what do we do? We can't get across this. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh, hi, you're the Magnemite we saved. We got word of this. We can rescue Diglett from the sky. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Hold on to us tight. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Don't be scared. We won't make the mistake of zapping you. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Well, you wouldn't hurt it anyways, ground type. You don't have the type of effectiveness. It will have no effect. Oh, I was very scared. Maybe because I was somewhere up hot, up so high. My feet still feel like they're walking on air. Feet? He has feet? He has them? Feet? Well, you're safe now. That's what counts. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, you've been rescued. Great, great. Of course it's Doug Trio. Huh? What was that? Am I hearing voices? Whoops, you can't see us. That's terribly rude of us. Hello, Doug Trio here. Oh, Papa. Diglett, you had us worried. You're not hurt? Nope, I was scared, but I'm all right. It's all thanks to MC's team. Thank you for everything. You're heroes. Please, thank our friend Magnemite here. Our Magnemite friends. Couldn't have done this rescue by ourselves. Oh, how rude of us. Thank you so much. No, no, it was the only thing we could do. And how both our evolved forms are joined trios, I felt a certain kinship. After all, Pokemon must help each other out. I'm impressed, sincerely. Thank you. We must be going, MC. Mudkip, thank you. Farewell. Got a Max Ether, Heal Seed, 800 Pokecoins. We'll be on our way too. Oh wait, don't go. Uh, what is it? Um, would you like to join our team? Join your team? Yes. You couldn't have done the last job if you weren't around, Magnemite. I thought we would need more for doing rescues in the future. MC, don't you think so too? Yes, we need more members. So will you? Will you join our rescue team? Rescue team? Sounds fun! But if you need us to rescue over, we need somewhere to live close by. Is there anywhere we can live in this area? Um, well... Oh, there isn't? Too bad. Sorry, but we can't join you. See you. Bzz, bzz, bzz. That is too bad. But it's true that team members should be close by so they can leave quickly. Guess we need to find places for Pokemon to live if we want them some to join our team. Oh, I know. Let's go to the Poke Square tomorrow. There's an interesting shop called Camp Corner. There wasn't anyone there when we went to the square the other day. It might be open tomorrow, though. The shop is beside Facility Bank, or Felicity Bank. Wigglytuff is usually there. You might get some useful information there. So that's tomorrow. We'll go to the Pokemon Square. Are we going to have another dream tonight? With God of War? Yep, again. It's that dream again. You can see God of War. 
That Pokemon, who could it be? Yo, what's up, Calvin? Huh, am I hearing better this time? What, human, my role? Wait, please tell me more. I can't drifting off a whole lot of dots. All right, and now we can finally grow our team. Morning, MC. Ha ha ha, what's the matter? You haven't woken up yet? Oh, so you be officially became affiliated? That's dope. So that means you gotta start accepting uh, donations and whatnot? Oh, you've been having strange dreams? What was strange about them? MC told Mudkip about the dream. Hmm, okay, MC, you said you're actually a human, right? So maybe. Those dreams have some connection to how you became a Pokemon, MC. By the way, MC, what do you want to do? Do you want to turn back into a human? It's true. I haven't thought much about it, but... Do I want to become a human again? I'm not sure. Being a human kind of sucks. Huh, what's the matter? Having trouble deciding? Well, maybe so. It's more fun for you to be here with me. Anyway, we're supposed to go to Pokemon Square today. Do you remember? We need to get information how we can have members to the rescue team. Let's go to Whaley's House Camp Corner. Now let's do this. I want to go on another mission. Here we go. Welcome to Willie Tuff's Camp Corner. Oh, is this your guy's first visit? Well, I get it. You started Rescue Team 2, didn't you? You've come to the right place. I've been sent by the rescue organization to support teams like yours. My main role is to provide rescue team camps. Camps are places for members on your rescue team to stand, stand by until dispatched. I think so. It's weird setting it up on my phone. I don't have a computer, which is what's recommended. Gotcha. So yeah, definitely keep working on that. See if you can get that nailed down so you can start making money off this thing. But yeah, for doing streaming and stuff, you'll probably want to invest in a computer at some point. So start saving up for one of those. Uh, so make sure you build a camp that suits the Pokemon that you want to recruit. Normally you would need money to build a camp, but I'll make a special deal. Since you're here for the very first time, I'll give you three free camps. Here we go, camps, camps, we all love camps. No, we don't. Congratulations, you go to Wild Plains, Stump Forest, and Blue uh, Sky Blue Plains. Now you can recruit Pokemon, resume, and uh... Giving away camps, you also give Power Plant Camp. Got it, giving away today. You need to make a hundred before you get paid? Yeah. But still, you gotta get to the point where you're building up that hundred. I wish this guy's slogan wasn't camps, camps, we all love camps, because I always hated camping. Yay, now we can go to the power plant camp. Uh, back from rolling over last night, my friend got overwhelming desire to become a member of your team. I apologize, but could you allow my friend to join your rescue team? Oh, wow! Don't forget, we're the ones asking to join. Yay, we got Magnemite! Magnemite level 7. Ha, <laughs> weak. No, I don't want to give anything a nickname. Too much trouble thinking of nicknames for everybody, and then you don't remember who everybody is. It's kind of like passwords for accounts on different websites. Um, yes, yeah, stop talking. I want to do missions now, now that I can get... Members on my team. Actually, no, I gotta buy from you. No, shut up, Mudkip. Mudkip, shut up. Wiggly Tough. Sell me stuff. Make a camp. Let's see, list of camps. Plusle, Minin, Tyrogue, Geodude, Pidgey, Pinsir, Execute. Mudkip is OG. The third generation in all is just, like, the best generation. Spiros, Carmory. I was always a Blaziken person. Uh, one of my better friends. His is always a Mudkip. He still wants Mudkip on his team to this day. 
But he also thinks that third generation is the best generation of Pokemon. Ball toy. Let's get a camp that has two two pickups in it. That isn't Plusle and Minin, because who wants Plusle and Minin that badly? Now, Discipline. Oh, third generation was your first? I started off with Pokemon Yellow, so I was first generation, then I played every generation since then. But third generation was my favorite, even though that was a time in my life where things got pretty tragic. Not in Pokemon, but just in general. But still, best generation. Uh, let's see. I already said I don't want Plusle and Minin's camp right now. Who else we got? Spearow and Skarmory. Although Skarmory's not going to just join my team like that. Yeah, that water ground typing is one of the best. I mean, what is it weak to other than grass, really? I think grass is like its only real weakness. So that's one reason why like getting up to a Swampert was just OP. But I always liked having Blaziken because it was fast, it was strong. The fighting typing with it, I always like that too. Yeah, I guess I'll get the Ancient Relic. I'll just get everything that has a Pokemon I've seen on it. Because obviously I have the money for it. Yes, I want another camp. I want all the camps. Wait. Age Chamber A through N. Age Chambers... These are for unknowns. Thank you, man. I don't want to buy those. I don't think Psychic is super effective against ground or water type, though. Oh, yeah, the twins, I remember, with that Lunatone and that Soul Rock. Yeah, they were the difficult one of that generation. There's always that one gym leader that's always the difficult one. Like for Gen 2, it was the third gym, Whitney, the one that had a mill tank that would just roll out all the time and just completely kill your team with a rollout. There's always that one gym leader in every single game. Except for maybe later generations, because everything just got easier. Yes, Mill Tank was the bane of anyone's existence. <laughs> and then it's like you get a Mill Tank and you feel like it's not that great other than it can like heal itself with its own milk. It's just not like the best of the best. Oh, uh, sorry to bring up your Miltank PTSD. Honestly, I kind of have it too, but I just repress it. Oh, are we doing another cutscene? Can I just go on a mission now that I can pick up Pokemon? Yes, you need help to get your friend. Another Jump Pluff. Another useless Pokemon. As seen there, Jump Pluff's begging for... I'm just going to click through this. Yeah, shift trees, not a nice guy. Ah, oh, here go the team. Oh, it's Alakazam. It's Alakazam. Hey, rather than being cold hearted, are you? Uh, it's easy matter for you. Help out Pokemon Gur, Tick, okay, yeah. Bye, shift tree and Nuzlocks. Wow, that shift tree agreed without any argument. Say, who are they? What? You don't know? That's Alakazam's team. They're the most famous rescue team around these parts. That's Charizard. His flamethrower can melt mountains. That's Tyranitar. It takes great pride in its armored body and amazing strength. And that's their leader, Alakazam. Alakazam doesn't like physical attacks, but he fights with his psychic powers. He's endowed with an amazing brain and IQ over 5,000. But does he know why kids love the cinnamony taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? And how can he come he only learns four moves like everybody else? Ain't he smart enough to know more? Okay, yeah, I need to just get through this. I want to go on a mission. Oh, yeah, these three Pokemon are OP. There's a reason why they're picks. Because I think this game only has up to the third generation of Pokemon in it. Based off of when the original game for it came out. And yeah, these were all very noteworthy ones.
Ooh, that was scary. Sheesh. Mudkip, please shut up. Oh, Gengar! I'm taller than a lot of Pokemon, and it does not make sense. I don't know if you've heard from Nick, but I'm sure you know with how tall Nick is that I gotta at least be close to his height. I'm six foot nine, and it's funny because when you have the games, they'll show like a size comparison, but then they put you down as like some 5'3 character as a size comparison, when in actuality, I'm like a foot and a half taller. Ah, uh, you're 5'9 and I'm 6'9. <laughs> gotcha. A whole foot difference. Oh, they're introducing gummies. I don't care. Just let me get on a freaking mission. <laughs> Ooh, I received three rainbow gummies. I'll take that. There are three, so let's share them with Magnemite. Yes, I know where to go to go to the camps. Accepted jobs or no accepted jobs? Check the mail. There's nothing. In Let's just go get Magnemite. Up at I know you just said that. Shut up, Mudkip. You're gonna give some big explanation, aren't they? No. Okay. It's better that they don't. Uh, let's give it one gummy. Wait, did that raise its attack? Yeah, I'm not even doing the reading of this reading simulator. I always make fun of uh, Fortnite because I'm always just like, Fortnite. This is the running simulator. Everybody else is battling, I'm off in the middle of a field. Running. Get stronger? No, I don't want to do that. I select him to bring him with me. Whatever, maybe I'll be able to figure it out later. Yeah, everything is a simulator of something. I'm trying to think what everything exactly is a simulator of. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 was a simulator of people complaining that video games are too violent. Uh, just with no Russian by itself. Let's see, what other games are good simulator games? Sort inventory... Multiple selects. Also Luigi's Mansion. For some reason they decided when they made the GameCube for Mario and Luigi, they're just gonna have them be the cleaning brothers. Just give one guy a tank of water to clean with and another guy a vacuum cleaner. All right, I gotta go pick up a job. I've been just hanging around this town way too long. Bolton board. Three for Thunderwave Cave. Oddity Cave. I like Oddity. I'm odd. And that's where we're gonna head to. Yeah, farming simulator is the farming simulator. Simu yeah, the farming simulator. I got that on Stadia for free, and have not played it at all, because I never really saw the point in it. Uh, Oddity Cave. Uh, so this is how you select the team members that you bring in with you. Um, how do I, how do... Um, choose number one with, what, what, I don't know what I'm doing, what? This is a great explanation. Oh, okay. Edit team. All right, give me that Magnemite. He coming with us. That's a nice spread there. Fire, water, and a steel electric. With signal beam. Oh, deport. Yeah, it's not the best time to be putting deport into 
game information. Depart. Let's depart to the Oddity Cave. Where if humans were born in caves, this would be mine. When a team leader, the Pokemon you control, defeats a nearby po enemy Pokemon sometimes, a friendship with that Pokemon is formed and they'll join you on your adventure. Do you want to join me? I hit it twice with an ember. How strong is this joint? It still isn't dead yet. Shoot. Now let's get this growl effect off. Magnemite. 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 Chill, homie. He's going in with his signal beams. Throw his gravel rock. All right, now let's raise your attack back up. Cool. All right, I always forget to look at the map when I first enter a dungeon. Is that a cliff fable? We cannot be having a cliff fable this early in the game. Please tell me it's a Clefairy. Okay, it's a Clefairy, cool. What? Oh, okay, I leveled up. I was confused. I was like, what is this animation? Is this like when you get a new Pokemon friend? No. Smoke screen? Heck no! Yeah, I still wanna give up on smoke screen. But I do. Lowers accuracy while you want something that actually hurts another Pokemon. This next room has a staircase. It has to. There it is, I see it. Yeah, come on, Nidoran female. One of the first two gendered Pokemon in the whole freaking franchise. Uh, let's play. Oh, I know you mean with uh, keeping the starters the first evolution, especially when it came to Gen 3, because that's when, like, I know Torchic learned Flamethrower, but Blaziken didn't, and Mudkip learned Hydro Pump, but Swampert didn't. Instead, he learned Muddy Water. So yeah, I understand doing that. I was never a big fan of that, because then I'd have to pay too much attention to make sure I pressed B in time to cancel an evolution. Wait. Oh no, this chick did not just eat my apple. You know what? You catch a dragon rage for that. Are we just leaving? I think I'm too underpowered for this cave. Sunkern! We want some max ether. Hello, Sunkern. Why are you waiting here to get a max ether? I guess the max ether is supposed to be like an intense Nas distract. Sunkern left the dungeon. A request beyond this point. Would you like to escape? Nope. Let's continue on as it looks like three Pokemon are getting ready to swarm me. Oh yeah, I love getting the Zigzagoon. I almost always had a Linoon on my team. And it would learn Surf, Cut, and strength. And then I let it have one move of its own. Pidgey is confused. And I missed. Yep. I'll take another Pokemon joining my team at any time now. Can you stop missing? Do not let it eat another one of our items. You got that, Mudkip? Well, Surf was a very strong move. But then, like... He ate the heel seed! 
But then, like, you know, you had to teach something Waterfall. And Waterfall definitely wasn't as strong. But yeah, when you have Mudkip on your team, then typically that's going to be the Pokemon that's learning Waterfall. Yeah, Waterfall was intense, but it was more for if you have a, had a special attacking... I mean, a, a physical attacking Water-type Pokemon. Like, it was great with a Gyarados. He ate the Reviver Seed? I said, you dying. I am sick of all these Weedles. <sighs> I need to take a deep breath. Because these Weedles are stressing me out with eating everything that I have in my inventory. Yay, special defense went up to, special attack went up to, defense went up to. Dang, Mudkip, that was a good level up. Rossberry. You've never encountered a shiny? I've encountered two shinies in all my time playing Pokemon games other than Pokemon Go. I count that as a different thing. When it came to regular games, I've gotten uh, shiny uh, Ladybug in Pokemon Sun, and I got a shiny uh, stun uh, Stunky in Diamond. Those are the only two shinies I've ever had. Oh yeah, I don't count the Red Gyarados just because Red Gyarados is what you get at the Lake of Rage in the second generation. So it's like you're supposed to get that shiny. So I never count that one. It's like real authentic, you find them wildly in the wild shinies. I've only ever had two. As far as Pokemon Go goes, I have, I think three shinies right now. I have a Talo, a Magmar, and a Drift Blimp. Oh, getting a shiny legendary has gotta be the most difficult thing. I feel like whoever gets one either just has been a major tryhard, cheated, or got the luckiest they could have ever been. Is there any way to know that you're getting a shiny Kyogre before you like really get to the level where you actually see Kyogre for the first time? Par I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. I can still throw a gravel rock though. No, don't use a cherry berry. Just attack the daggum thing. Oh, see, when I play a s Sapphire, I use Kyogre. When I play Ruby, I use Groudon. And I even use uh, Rayquaza when it comes to Emerald, but... I don't know. I never use it for that long. I'm still freaking paralyzed?! Okay, no, stop running away. Let's go together until this paralysis wears off. There we go. I'm no longer paralyzed now. Oh yeah, you're talking about changing the code. Yeah. Yeah, I've never done anything like changing code. Although I have had an action replay for the DS and I would actually, like, walk through walls just to be able to get, uh, like, the unattainable legendaries. That's about the only thing cheating I've ever done in the Pokemon games. Yeah. The way to get, like, the best experience out of Pokemon is cheating a little, but then you always feel like you did a bad thing by cheating. Like, I've always tried to find different workarounds for, like, event Pokemon, because you can still find them in the games if you had the method to cheat for them. But then, you cheated for them. <laughs> now the thing that I do is I just plan different Pokemon I want and then just trade them from other games. And that's how I get Pokemon that I want. And I, get I am not staying out front against a Poliwag, not when I'm a Charmander. No, sir. 
It was your cousins and you can get unlimited Master Balls. Okay, I'll be honest about one more thing when it comes to cheating. First generation, when you could clone items, I used to do that too. Because it was so easy to do. Matter of fact, there's also the only way to get Mew in the game too, and I'll, I will get Mews in games. As a matter of fact, I think on my 3DS, on the emulator for my Pokemon Blue, I got a Mew. You use your first Master Ball to do? Let me tell you, when I had Pokemon Yellow, first time I got a Master Ball, I got it. I was like, what is this? I don't know what it is. I went over to Root. What was it? It was the one that was just left of Viridian City. Went in the grass, a level two Rattata popped out, and I was like, what does this Master Ball do? Let me throw it at this level two Rattata. And I caught a level two Rattata with my very first Master Ball. Uh, if I wasn't seven <laughs> at the time. Oh, uh, shoot. I hate telling that story now. That was the hard way. I remember the first time I played that game, too. I, like, got to the point where if you play that first generation, you get to the Snorlax blocking the path. I had no clue what to do. Thought that I messed up and restarted my game. <laughs> I knew nothing at Pokemon, and it wasn't like Google was just, like, readily available with all that information yet, too. Oh, I struggled in Pokemon when I first started. And I wouldn't have it any other way, because <laughs> it's gotten way too freaking easy. A wand? When you wave a wand, it sends out a mysterious power. A wand's effects depend on what kind of wand it is. You can hit a enemies far away with them, so they're pretty useful items. Why did they add witchcraft into this game? Slow wand. This is a new development. I have never seen a wand before. Internet is a blessing. My cousin had a book thing for Emerald, so I'd read that if I got stuff. I had one of those for Ruby and Sapphire, and then... A friend lent one for Pokemon Coliseum to me, and then I never returned it. Do I still have that joint, or did I throw it away when I last moved? I don't know. I might still have it, actually. I need to actually uh, play Pokemon Coliseum at some point. I don't know if it should be a live stream or what. That's a good game. That and Pokemon XD. I got XD Gale of Darkness as well. You know what? I realized the problem. I'm not getting any Pokemon in this dungeon because I don't have any areas for the Pokemon in this dungeon. So I'm walking around mad that no one wants to join me. But it's because no one can join me. Yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah. If you want to know, the capture card I have is the Elgato capture card, uh, HD60. But then again, when you get a capture card, you also have to have the computer. Because... What are those big red marks? Oh, snap. I don't want to run into that. Because that's essentially how you're going to uh, be able to stream, as you do it from your computer with your capture card capturing all of it. Hey, 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 don't you dare put my Magnemite to sleep. It's my Magnemite. Magnemite finally got to level 8. That'll wake up at some point, but I definitely... Ew, a Lickitung. You're exactly what we need during a coronavirus outbreak. A Pokemon that licks absolutely everything. Yeah, I've had my capture card since... Since 2017. And back when I started uploading uh, Black Ops 2 on my YouTube channel, that's basically where it starts. And then I learned that nobody wants to watch me just play flat-out games of Black Ops 2 because I'm not technically good at the game. Like, I'm decent, but not good enough that people want to watch. So that's when I started cutting it up and making it a moment. 
And then somewhere along the way, I got lazy again. Whatever that one big mark is, it's asleep. And I don't wanna... Oh, it's just an onyx! Here I was freaking out, there was nothing to freak out about. But Mudkip needs to take the lead on it. Nice tackle, bro. Oof. Did I just say oof? Okay, okay, I see how it is. Berry time. Onyx is wimpy. There's a reason that they made Steelix. It's because Onyx, even though it's huge, is kind of pathetic. That's another story from the first time that I played Pokemon. It was, a. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing. I just had the Pikachu as your starter and a whole bunch of other Pokemon. And I leveled up Pikachu to level 20 to the point that it learned Slam. And it would just Slam Onyx until I beat Brock. Yeah, Onyx is not a strong one. He's a bit tanky, but he ain't strong. So that means this one wandering around up above my head is just another Onyx. Hi, Onyx. Um, let's bibbity boppity boo you. I feel proud of myself. I'm a wizard, Harry. Rock throw. Ow, don't throw rocks at me. Yeah, that's right, say so your booty now. Hey, the stairs, but I want to get this item. Uh oh, I need to eat. Uh, apple. Ooh, I got a pretty box. Hitmon Lee? What up, Broseph? Uh, do that. Medicine. No, just step closer. Oh, you went with the double thunder shot. There you go. It's an apple. I need that. New generation are trash with difficulty. You get XP share in the first five minutes and it gives it to the whole team. Yes. Yeah, I remember, uh, here's the way that I liked it when you had the XP share like that, when it gave it to the whole entire team. When it was first generation, you had to get 50 Pokemon first, and then barely any XP would go out to your whole team. The only thing that sucked with, with that was it told you, this Pokemon got this much XP, this Pokemon got this much XP, one after another, and it took forever to get out of the frickin' battle. But I liked how it gave a little bit of XP to everybody on your team. Oh. Voltorb's kind of surrounded by a lot of bad guys. Do I have an elixir? Because I'm kind of all out of moves. And I don't want to use my Nas Distracts. I think I'm going to have to use my Nas Distracts. Yeah, there's some Pokemon where you don't even have to let them fight anymore. You just literally put them in your team, and eventually they'll evolve. I'm not a big fan of that. They literally have made Pokemon just way too easy now. Generation 5 was definitely the drop-off. Oh my gosh, this unsanitary Pokemon wants to join my team. Yes, help us spread Corona throughout the world. Rare quality squeeze out? The PP of a move that has zero PP may sometimes be restored. Rare qualities affect your whole team as a whole. Ah, huh, that's actually pretty dope. Once you finish an adventure with the Pokemon that you befriended part way through, that Pokemon will join your rescue team. You'll need a camp for the Pokemon to wait at if you at want to add it to your team. Yeah, I actually haven't played through all of uh, Alpha Sapphire. I have it but I haven't played through it all. Uh oh because Mudkip is here confused. He is sitting here. Uh, ew. I got one gravel rock left. Take that, Ghastly. Stuck. Wait, Magnemite stuck? 
I'm stuck. We get to- My kid should have turned around and hit the gas leave with a water gun. Fine, I'll wave a wand. Bippity boppity. Frick! Mudkip, you're just in the way. You're just all up in the way. And Magnemite's stuck. You good? Mudkip talks way too much. Sleep Seed. Fabulous. What I always wanted in life. Ooh, squeeze out! We got more power points! Although I really just like saying PP. It's just more fun. Dragon Rage! Oh, I don't even want to imagine the sound of Meowth. Pokemon is controlled by another Pokemon. It's forced to use a move or an item. The status wears off on the next turn. Hey, you made me an apple. Thank. But the heck is going on here? Catch this Dragon Rage. Stop putting me to sleep. Oh, this is a horrible image in my mind. Just two Pokemon that are just tongue. Just slapping each other in the tongues. You can literally see the visual on screen. No, wrong way. Why are you not facing? This is a travesty. HP is very low. Yes, the Magnemite saved me. <laughs> Thank you, Magnemite. What? <sighs> Throw. Yeah, that's right. You go to sleep, Ghastly. I need to use a Nazis track now. There they are. Drink me. Good shot. Sit down, stand up, pass out. Can I snap out of paralysis? And stop putting me to sleep! What is this stupid chain of events? Bruh! Do you run out of moves? Okay, finally, I can move. Freaking finally. Ha! Ah! Why was that like that? Shoo. Yeah, I found Voltorb. I don't think I have any jobs left in this dungeon after this. I'm leaving this dungeon. Please come see me at the post office later. Ah, oh, that would be dope. Thank you so much for that. Although, I don't think I'm gonna be playing for too much longer. I've been going for an over an hour now. And typically, I like to stream Throwback Thursday streams for two hours and then everything else for only like one hour. Just because I always have more stuff to do, like editing videos, so I don't like to spend too much time streaming. Oh shoot, a rainbow gummy! A DX! What does a DX gummy do? Another DX gummy! I'm in gummy heaven. Licksong wants to join, not in the camp. Can stay at blue, uh, sky blue plains. Yes, I want him to join. Why would I not want him to join? I don't have one on my team. We need to spread corona to the world! I don't want to give it a nickname. Yeah, I'll join in on, uh, on your Minecraft stream. I was, uh, watching a Shade stream earlier. And then I ran to Cookout, because they're still open despite the coronavirus going on. I sent storage. Is that the first time we actually got points added on to my team? 
Are you freaking kidding? Weekly tough orb. What? Okay, I need to research what these orbs do now, because this is different. Yeah, I pulled up to just the drive-thru of Cookout. There's no other cars in the drive-thru. There is like one car in the parking lot, but there are people inside working. So I was like, this is perfect. I can just get my food and not worry about anyone. But yeah, this is gonna be where I'm gonna end this stream. So I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an eight K wet working. The roaches get the race spray. My weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, million man marching Sparta mixed with a legion of angels surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert eagle waving it at Caesar. So if I was you, I probably wouldn't mention me either.